as you know by now i don't like to use too many plugins to achieve a certain effect so a while back i did a video featuring a plugin i know out of character but i was very curious about this plugin and i wanted to see how easy it would be to use it in projects i have to be honest it's quite expensive if you can afford it or your client can afford it and it would make your life and their life more easier then use that otherwise if you just want to use gsap basically without the help of a plugin then you are in luck because today we are going to be doing the same effect that i did with that certain plugin that i mentioned and that effect is a horizontal vertical effect although it was quite easy to do it with a plugin of course you still need to know what you're doing some of you quite a lot actually ask me to do it with gsap and rightfully so and i think i am able to deliver that i've been working on this for a while not all the time but on and off it didn't work for a while and then i had a breakthrough so i'm happy to announce <laughs> that it's working on desktop and mobile. It's not 100% perfect as it is the one that I did with Motion Page, the plugin, but I think it's still usable and it's very good. So let's get into it. So let's start with uh, adding a container at the top. So this container would be basically your hero section. And of course, I'm just going to give it only some height and color, uh, background color, because we don't care about design that's up to your project specs all right so i'm gonna go with this color and i'm just going to go and add a heading in here and this heading is going to be number one i just want to differentiate between the elements on the page uh, on the yeah on the page basically the containers so you see when you scroll how the containers move all right in what order basically all right so let's make this big okay and i am going to oops i'll go to layout and justify the content center and align item center publish this and this is the first step this was nothing all right so now we need to add another container i'm just going to double duplicate this container to save time just change the color actually we don't even need to change the color because this is the container that holds all our horizontal containers so it's just a holding container it's the parent container i'm gonna remove the uh, heading from here and i'm just going to also remove the color we want this to be completely blank all right so let's go to layout everything is set properly here one thing that you need to do and don't forget to do this make sure that you se select the no wrap under wrap setting because otherwise on mobile the elements will not show all right so i'm gonna select no wrap and i'm going to publish and what i'm gonna do is uh, simply give a css class to this and i'm gonna call it container you can call it whatever you want i will also remove the justification and alignment here we don't necessarily need it for this um, container you can also remove any gaps if you want you can leave them let's leave them and let's see how it's going to look with this uh, set so basically it's going to be there will be space between the containers that we're going to add in here all right so now we are ready to add our horizontal containers so i'm going to add about three you can add as many as you want as i said people are not really used to horizontal scrolling and vertical scrolling combination and you don't want to confuse the users so you wouldn't want to confuse your users so I suggest limiting the horizontal scroll to three uh, containers. I think that's pretty okay. All right, so I am going to add my first container in here. Oops, this container. I'm going to give this a full width and also I'm going to set this to be 100 VH. So I'm going to give a color to this container. So of course, as I said, we can differentiate between them. And I'm going to say lavender. All right. So I'm simply going to copy and paste this here. 
and this is going to be number two let's select actually we could where is it? let's go to the container and it was a pink all right so one two all right all we need to do now is simply duplicate this container but what i want to do before we do that is give this uh container a css class panel and all these containers the horizontal containers uh, will be called panels panel all right and another thing we are going to be doing is set this to row now let's duplicate all right so okay let's change this number to three change the color and there's something else that i forgot to do um but give me a moment but uh, let's change the color of the container to mint all right one thing that i forgot to do sometimes happens uh the main container the parent container should have direction row horizontal obviously and as you can see we have of course at this point a little overflow and the way we fix that is go to additional options go to overflow and set this to hidden and now it's all good but of course you cannot scroll to see the next panels i suggest if you want to continue seeing them and be able to edit leave this as default and do your edits and then try to reset not try reset it to the normal um, overflow hidden all right so i'm gonna go change this uh, duplicate uh, change the color and let's say mm -hmm, decisions decisions all right we're gonna just go with the color oh, it's so hard all right i'm gonna go with an awesome green of course uh let's change the number to be four and we're stopping here and the next container is going to be our last container uh, to which we scroll vertically all right so all is good let's go and set the additional the overflow to hidden and this should be done all right i am simply going to duplicate my first container and i am going to drag it to be the last change the number i'm going to just say the end <laughs> and publish okay let's add an html widget in here and i am simply going to add in the code and this is our code and as you can see uh our classes are in here and here and this is where you would change the classes if you want to as always remember if you change them here or inside the, the containers then change them here as well all right i'm just going to publish this and let's have a quick look all right and as you can see we have the padding the margins on the uh, between the containers as you can see yeah you can remove them if you want as you can see if you scroll all the way to our container the last container kind of jumps at the end and that was the problem that i had and i needed fixed so i did fix it so that is super easy to fix and let's go and add our css because it's just a little bit of css that we need to do to add here all right so i'm gonna go let me just close everything so you you see the structure here i will simply go and add it in the parent container in the container all right so go to advanced go to custom css and just drop in the code like that so let's go and have another look so scroll 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 blah, blah. yes 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 and all of a sudden it doesn't jump anymore and voila the end i mean it's super easy super easy it just took me forever to uh, 
to get to the point of saying that it's super easy. And the snapping is not really super intuitive and I will probably do it a little bit better in the future, but I said I'm just going to, to put it out there and maybe you can improve it if you know how. One thing I want to do is basically have the option to drag these containers. So like you would have, for example, a carousel uh, with images where you can scroll, you can, yeah, scroll with the, the mouse wheel and you can also drag the containers left and right or simply pause the container if it scrolls too much. For example, right now I cannot pause it. It just continues scrolling to the until the end. So there's some improvements that I want to make. That's why I said it's not super perfect, but I think it's still useful. So and usable. It's pretty usable. Of course, I didn't try to see if it works perfectly on all browsers, but I'll leave that to you. And I hope. And so let me know if you found this useful. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time.